we're going to show you how to plot a route on the OS Maps app here in 2022. This is the most modern version, so you've got to download the app first. It's OS Maps app. When you have downloaded it, you can download and it looks something similar to this. It's just a standard, bog standard OS Maps. See that little triangular arrow sort of thing? That is your GPS location. That will work whether you've got signal or not, because it works with GPS and satellites, not phone signal. So you don't need to worry about that. Here, I'm showing you it in the premium format, because I actually do have the premium version. I pay $3.99 a month to get it. That way, when I have plotted out a route, I can download that map and use it in the mountains when I don't have any signal. To plot the map, first click on the menu up in the top corner, and you can see the little tab at the top that says Plot Route. Click on that. I'm going to do it as a walk anyway. That way it just determines your various different speeds and stuff like that. And I'm going to zoom in to start. You need to put your start point. So I'm going to put my start point exactly there. And then you just follow the actual path to whichever way you want to go. Now I know there's a path that cuts across here. So I'm going to just quickly jot on that. If you want to know if there is actually a path there, you can see down in the bottom corner, you've got the little button that's got like three pieces of paper sat on top of each other. If you press on that, again, this is on the premium version, you've got the aerial view of the map. So you can go onto the actual aerial. And you can see where that actually route is that I actually follow. It's just there. And then with this, you can actually go back onto route and continue plotting it if you so feel you want to do it this way. Now for this route, it's not actually on the OS Maps app. So I'm going to just keep following it. Then I'm going to go up that road just a little bit, zoom in a bit. You can see a little cut through there. So I'm going to keep going over the path. Now you can on tricky sections zoom right the way in and do loads and loads of little points to get it absolutely pin perfect or you can zoom out and think that's a straight piece of road it's okay i can go like that and then when you are actually following this route while you're outside you can just jump on and follow the actual path yourself you don't have to stick to that exact line like this piece here my line goes slightly off the actual route it doesn't matter while you're actually out there then I don't know where the actual footpaths are, so I'm going to go back onto that free paper sort of button and click on the premium topper. This is your standard OS Maps app. And I'm going to follow that road down to there, uh, down to that path just there. You can see the footpath that comes in on the map just there. I'm going to follow that. Now, there is a cut through somewhere down here. So, again, I'm going to go back over to the aerial view. There's the cut through. So, again, if you want to zoom right the way in, you can. I am for this piece here because it is a little technical when it goes further down you can see that bridge i don't want to go over that bridge i want to go over that little bridge just there so i'll come over that and then follow that path all the way down both again you don't need to be massively accurate when it comes to these big long straight pieces back down to there down the road and then to be fair i'm actually gonna follow the same route back so to do it i'm gonna do it the long way i'm just gonna click 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 and click that's that done so what do i do now first off i'm going to go over to the premium top home map just so i can see it dotted out there see the little arrow down the bottom in the middle you can swipe that up that tells you all your ascents and descents so i'm going from 20 meters above sea level up to 29 that's why it's really jagged and rigged like this it's only a short walk as well so it's slight little inclines here and there nothing massively uh, special as you can tell just there so you want to save this route. I'm going to type it as a uh, short route uh, from my mates. Because that's where we are right now. I'm actually at my mate's house. We're having a coffee. And we decide we want to go for a walk. So I figured I'd do this. So I'm just going to go uh, short local as the description. Uh, further down the bottom there, you've got, is it leisurely, moderate or challenging? So you can set whatever that is. It's just a leisurely one. Then underneath that, you can see where it says everyone and just me. I'm actually going to keep this as just me. I'll show you what the everyone is. There it is. That's saved just there perfectly well. See the download map button? I want to press that. Now, I'm on the premium membership, so I can do that. That means if I don't have signal while I'm out there, I can still use the map because it will be downloaded. Now, if you come off the map just there, that's perfectly fine. If you want to share it with everybody, you can see that number 10 that's just popped up. I can click on that, and that's basically other people have shared these routes with everybody. And I can click on any, <coughs> and I can click on any one of those routes, and it will show me the actual route. That's all it means when it says share with everybody. So when you want to actually do the route, you come off the map, you've done perfectly fine. Open it back up when you're ready, you've got dressed, you're ready to go out and actually do the route. Click on menu in the top corner. 
Then underneath the bottom, it says routes and offline maps. Click on routes and you'll find your route. There's mine, short route from mates. You can see all the other routes that I've plotted here. Um, old Famu, the two waterfalls, four of the Snowdonia 3000s. That's a recent one that I've recently done. Again, you can just walk in. You can see how it's plotted very widely and it just follows the footpath. And when you get out there, you can just click start route. So if we go back to this one, this is the one we've just plotted right now. And the GPS, my GPS location is right at my mate's house where we're about to start this walk. I just click start route and that GPS will follow you throughout that route. We are out on our walk right now. You can probably hear some background noise and stuff like that. You can use this map when you've not got it loaded up on your phone. As you can tell just there, first off, what do you think of that background? Oh yeah, ooh. You slide down on the top and at the bottom, 2.35 kilometers, 2.36. That's how long you've got left on your walk. Click on it, it takes you back to the actual route and look, it's, the GPS has moved so that we're actually on the route. So what I've done here is to sim simulate a uh, safety feature that's built in within the app. So if we slide down, you are off course. Check your location on the map. As you can tell, that's where I should go. But yet yeah, I'm all here. So if you do stray off course, you will get that notification. It does vibrate. It is a standard mobile phone notification. Just to let you know you've gone off course, you can check where you are and check how to get back to wherever you need to be. And then when you are back to your finish line, you just click the back button. Are you sure you want to finish this route? Yes. And then it gives you a chance to actually rate the app if you want. How did you enjoy the route? No, it was okay. It was nothing special. Done. Sorted. Boom. Now you know how to plot and follow a route on OS Maps app. If you have learned something, if you have enjoyed it, please subscribe.